Hey, everyone. Your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 120, Arranging Bed Pillows Like a Pro. Let's talk about arranging bed pillows. Well, you girls know my absolute obsession with pillows. So I have a Mm. question for you. In theory, can you have too many pillows on a bed? (laughs) <laughs> yes. In theory, no. In actuality, yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, good but point. I think when your pillows creep down past half your bed, yes. that yes. might be over to I you. know. And I, I only know, know I that because I have done that. <laughs> I don't feel like I have that many pillows on uh, one of our beds, but it's got the, the Euros in the back, mm-hmm. and then it has the pillows, the p- pillows we actually sleep on, mm-hmm. and then the pillows that go in front of that. And it's already almost, it feels like it's halfway down the bed. That sounds fabulous. Yeah, it might be like a third of mm-hmm. the way down. Well, it might be. Hmm. Yeah, it might be. That's right. It might be. I think there's many ways to arrange pillows on the bed. And you you have to really do what's comfortable for you. Um, I tend to overdo the pillows because I, I always think less is more for me when it comes to pillows because I just love them so much. Um, you mean more is more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. More is definitely more. But if less is more for you, you have to decide sort of where your pillow limit is. And here's what I hear a lot of my readers saying. Well, they, you know, they're all over the floor. I get a, I always have a huge big basket in mm-hmm. every bedroom. Great idea. In my family room and in my living room. And I big enough that I can put my pillows in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we have a chair that a, a huge kind of more of a settee, and all the pillows go on there. But can I mention a type of pillow that I love to have on? Yes, mm-hmm. vintage monogrammed linen pillow shams. In fact, I bought uh, from my friend um, who's got a Etsy shop called uh, Brocant Treasure. She lives in the UK. Mm-hmm. I she sold me I some napkins, some monogram napkins and a tablecloth, but I'm going to take all of those napkins and make them into pillows because they have this most Uh, beautiful monogram on them. And so to me, that's just the lap of luxury to have some beautiful pillow on there that's got this mm -hmm. amazing monogram. And I don't care whether it's my monogram or not. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Any monogram works. My, I'll tell you my nothing. favorite way to arrange bed pillows mm-hmm. has changed. I like, to, yes, it has. Mm-hmm. I Felt, really, did anyone else feel that play tectonic shift <laughs> when that happened? When did this happen? I kind of remember this... that day. It felt something was changing <laughs> in the atmosphere. I, I lo- knew it the minute I walked in her bedroom. <laughs> something I different. like Euro shams in the back. Well, me too. Which I didn't like before. Really? That's Whoa. the shift? Mm. Mm. I don't. Yeah. I was listening to what Anita was saying, mm-hmm. and I don't do it that way. Really? I love the Euros I love in the back the because Euro they have the height. in the back and then the uh, regular bed pillows with shams. Here's the now, thing. If you've got, a king, if you've got go a king pet bed, I think they really do help with the height because you've got such a wide bed, you want to add some height to it so that it doesn't feel... Okay, so but wide? here's the thing. I okay. use the Euros, mm-hmm. but I put my sleeping pillows, because I don't really want to see those necessarily. Oh, Maybe behind just the, the Euros? The sheet is pretty, yeah. So I you know, put them on the vertical against the headboard, the two of those. Then I put the Euros in front of those. So the Euros, are, but isn't your, isn't your Euro kind of leaned back? It's a little tilted, a little jaunty back there? Yeah, it's a little... Uh, well, it's leaning on the pillows, but they're standing sort of upright against the top But see, of the I'm not counting my bed pillows because I, I totally hide them. Oh, so when you say oh. in the back, you don't mean the back and then you have your bed pillows in front of no, them. No, I put my bed pillows in back of everything. You don't even count them. Oh, my goodness. She's adding well, some may, in. Well, here's the, here's the thing, Anita. Maybe Bobby said, Yvonne, you can have 
11 pillows <laughs> on the bed. And Yvonne's like, oh, well, but I don't count the four sleeping oh, I think, so I think really, we see what's going on here. Bobby pillows. would never tell yeah. me I could only have so many <laughs> uh-huh, bed yeah, pillows. Yeah, because he's a smart husband. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like the happy idea of the wife, cascading pillows. Life. Yeah. <laughs> some, some of them don't get that. Very, it takes them a while. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I clear. like that cascading look. I'm mm-hmm. I'm not 100% clear, so, but let's clear this up for myself and our listeners. Okay, so, because this is really, really important stuff, you know. <laughs> yes. World peace and bed pillows, exactly. you know. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if everybody had enough pillows, maybe there would be no war. <laughs> so, okay, Yvonne and I, correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. Mrs. Pratt, but we put our sleeping pillows in the way back. And mm. the euros, and in they front. stand up like soldiers. Stand up like soldiers. Now, Anita, mm-hmm. where do you stand on that? Where do you put them? Well, the each pillows? bed has a different uh, philosophy, but oh, the bed that I'm talking about, okay. wow, has, bed whisperer, <laughs> has the euros in the back, and then I like the. And actually, here's another tip: I use king size pillows on queen beds because it actually mm. two king size pillows is the width of a king a queen bed. Mm-hmm. Ding, ding, oh, ding, 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 Tempur-Pedic beds that go, the head goes up or the feet go up. Never thinking I like it. I love it. And if I put my head up a little bit, I can put my pillows like far down and the bed just goes back and like squishes it between the headboard (laughs) and the mattress. I want to see this in action. Mm -hmm. I have a system, but I like, I like to have my euros in back and then I like to have a shammed bed pillow in front, but they're not really my sleeping pillows. They're just a right. bed pillow. Like you mm-hmm. said, two mm-hmm. kings. Cause I have a queen bed and then, um, you know, decorative pillows and a bolster and then <laughs> a couple of lumbar. Let me yeah. just mute my, I, I'm going to go away for a while. And then when she's maybe when I come back, she'll be done with all the pillows. <laughs> Well, okay. I do, but I love pillows. I think there it's like jewelry. I, I love jewelry. I, you can't have enough. Yeah. So we've yeah. got the sh- so we've got the sleeping pillows, mm-hmm. um, which we're not counting, and they're in the back. And then we have euros. Now, just so everybody that's listening understands, the euros are more of the square shaped pillows. Square. That's right. And they're twenty six inches or slightly bigger. Or like right. I mean, they, that's the thing mm-hmm. too. You have to be careful if you're buying euro shams be sure and check Mm -hmm. the size because they're not i mean i think the more standard size is 26 but they come in Mm -hmm. 24 they come in Mm -hmm. larger sizes okay so be sure and make sure that you're getting the right size for the can i add this Mm -hmm. if you don't like a lot of pillows on your bed i mean for some for some reason you weren't brought up right i'm (laughs) easy (laughs) um but if you don't like a lot of pillows on your bed um Take, put euros on your bed, but stuff them with 28 inch inserts. Yeah. They're right. Use a bigger insert than the, yes. One one size up. Now, and that doesn't matter whether you like a lot of pillows or you don't. That is the way to go. Your pillow insert should Mm -hmm. be two inches bigger bigger. than your pillow. And I've noticed since we like the feather pillows, sometimes when I fill a fill a regular pillow sham, an American size pillow that you might mm-hmm. sleep on. Sometimes it looks kind of flat. So I might stuff a second one in there too. Wow. If the pillowcase oh. is not fluffy enough with the pillow okay. in there. I okay. see. Okay. But my favorite pillow to put on the bed these days, the thing that I am super in love with is a very long bolster pillow. Oh, me too. I Isn't that love the thing? Them. So I love yes. bolster pillows, but the longer the pillow, the more I'm in love with it. It's just mm-hmm. perfect on your bed. Okay, mm-hmm. so well, no, that would be the one that would go across. That's the one in the all front. of the pillows. That, that in long? front, well, a lot of them. I like, yeah, I like it. I to don't be like about, anything in front of a bolster. No, no, the bolster goes in front, and I like it yeah. to be, you know, about three feet long. Right, so it's co- so it's in the center, but it's overlapping. And yeah, I know that okay. you have um, a DIY 
for a beautiful bolster pillow. Will I have two different in, ones. Will you put those in the show notes? Yes, oh, of course. Perfect. Making a note of that. Perfect. I have one that's velvet okay. that's tied on the ends. And then I have one where I did a ruffle and it's in a very heavy linen. Yes. Beautiful. Now, let me just ask you this. if What would be the bare minimum that you would put on your bed? Bare minimum pillows. Well, mm-hmm. I really like that euro, the euro, a pillow sham, and a bolster probably would be my bare mm. minimum. That's a gorgeous. Are you saying like if I wasn't, a, if they stopped making pillows? I mean, what are you saying? <laughs> if there was a yes. pillow crisis like, and like, you, am I going to be incarcerated? Yes, that's <laughs> right. Uh, you know, if, like if what's they're gonna rationed. Happen? They're that's rationed. They were rationed. What, <laughs> oh. what would be the configuration? I mean, some people just don't like a lot of those on their bed. Okay. And, so you're saying what can still look good at, right. if I was a minimalist in the pillow department? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what she's saying. Okay. Well, then I would say I, we have a king size bed, always have. So for a king size bed that I would do. We're not counting the sleeping pillows, right? So you well, have your just give us. Pillows. It could be any, like you okay, know. Okay, so mm-hmm. we like two. Well, she's sleeping- cheating, not counting that pillow. Okay, but you go. So ahead. I'll say. Okay, <laughs> so two sleeping pillows each for comfort, king size. Then I would do. This is if I was to be a minimalist in the pillows, and then I would do two king size shams, and then I would probably do a lumbar in the front of those two. Now, how would you configure that? Would they be laying down? Would they be standing up? Oh, I think uh, under the, those dire circumstances, yes. I <laughs> there have, was a pillow shortage. Okay, I think I'm visualizing this now. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of removing things from my mind. Okay, so then I would think I would do the sleeping pillows on the horizontal flat. Mm-hmm. I would, I would then stand up the king size shams against mm-hmm. those, and because there's two, they would stand up, and then I would. St- uh, that I would stand the lumbar on the horizontal centered on those two king shams. Well, you know, so- I'm almost, I can almost agree with you, but I would put oh. the, I would put the bed pillow and then the bed, the shams that are the same size as the bed pillow, both of those stacked on top of one another on the horizontal and then a lumbar in front. Because face it, there are people out there, believe it or not, that really don't like a lot of pillows on their bed. Well, I like the idea, if especially if you have a very simple bedspread, like if you just had a mm-hmm. big, heavy piece of linen draped over your bed, I do like the idea of what you're saying, Yvonne, where it's two pillows, the sham and mm-hmm. the pillow you sleep on, just stacked up and it's all the same color, maybe all white, maybe all of a stonewashed gray, and they're just on the horizontal. And it looks so like stacked And up then would you like put a lumbar in front in of that? Pea? I don't I don't stacked know. Up? I, I'm like, sorry, what was the question, Kelly? Stacked up like Princess and the Pea, like I can yes, see the yes, of the yes. I like that look too. Yeah, I do okay. too. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. But I don't think it makes, I don't think you can do that if you have loads of pillows on your bed. It's either that's that. That's a minimal, that's a minimal look. That's a min- look. Right. But I like that mm-hmm. look though. How about. It's so the, monastic the, even. It is. <laughs> it is. How about the old fashioned, if you have a bedspread that you would literally put oh. the bedspread over your I can't pillows do that. and then tuck it in. I can't that was, do that. I Our remember making gone. my mom's yes. bed like that with her eyes. She was like, could mm-hmm. you do the other side? And you would have to fold it down oh. and you put the pillow overlapping it a little bit and then you folded it I over. I think when we were first married, I would take the pillow and kind of roll it. I kind of fold it. Oh, oh wow. yes. And then tuck it around. So it kind of looked like a, it almost looked like a bolster pillow at the top of the bed. Oh. But here's what I'm saying. Even if you... Um, or f- don't have a lot of pillows or don't like them, fold your bedspread back and just let your pillows show. Just make sure you keep your pillowcases nice. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, the other yeah. thing I like to do- That's all you want. Mm-hmm. Let your like pillows use, show. <laughs> I like to use a bedspread or something that's simple mm-hmm. and then have something maybe with a pattern, just fold it up at the foot of the bed, a duvet. I do too. I love that I like that, that too. I like mm-hmm. that too. Now, how do you feel about- pillow protectors. Do you use those on your sleeping pillows and your decorative pillows? Well, if you have, I think it's helpful if you have the the down pillows or the feather pillows. I think so too. No, I'm big into pillow protectors. Yeah, they're inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And And you you can wash them. Exactly. And it gives another layer. So you've got your pillow case. You also have a pillow protector and you can wash both of those. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. And I've mentioned this before, but I love a satin pillow. It really, if you, 
have Does to. Does that really work on your hair? Yes, and face try and all go that. get one. Am I going to have to buy you one? Go yes. try it. <laughs> yes. Hint, <laughs> hint, hint of the day. Are you offering? Hint are you of offering? Oh, let me look on Soft Surroundings, see if I they have one. To ma- I want her to make us those oh, yes, bolster please. pillows. That's my. That's my. Mm. Hint. You, you want to make what? Mm-hmm. I want no, not me. I want you to make Yvonne. And oh. Make <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get on that. Well, yeah, let's yeah. talk about. All right, we 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 base most of us. I the, I guess the consensus is we really like those Euro shams as the in the background. Then yeah. some configuration of a regular sham and our bed pillow somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. What about, um, and a bolt, we all like bolsters. Yes or no? Mm-hmm. I do. Yes. Yeah, I love a bolster. Okay. But what, I don't have one right now, but I love the idea of a bolster. Mm, mm-hmm. What about other pillows? Let's say you're not going to use a bolster. What about other pillows? What do you use? Do you change well, out I your pillows? I think a lumbar like? is just, it fits mm-hmm. in any situation. It's a yeah. nice size. That's the smaller it's rectangle. It's bolster-esque. It's, you know what yeah, I mean? So, but mm-hmm. if you have that lumbar, I like a monogrammed linen one. Oh. You do. I have a lovely one that I got on sale at Anthropology right now that I really love. And I have the Bella Note um, shams and Euro shams that mm-hmm. are, are really, really pretty. So this is my configuration right now. So I've got the sleeping pillows in the back. I only have two Euro shams, even though it's a king size bed, but mm-hmm. these are bigger. So they really work. I don't, three would be overlapping. So, but some people wow, do. Wow, they but must I be do big. three, yeah, three some Euros people say three on a king on a, bed. Yeah. I some do three Euros three. on my, well, on my queen bed, but you know me. And How pillows. can you do that? Well, I'm not done yet. Can I tell you the Oh, rest? no, mm-hmm. I mean, Yvonne, she's doing the three Euros on a queen? Because I put the two all the way out to the edge. Yeah. And overlap the third in the middle. Oh, so the third oh, is a little bit forward. A little, it, and only a little bit. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co dot co slash DTT and use the code DTT. 
pillow shams, whether it be a standard, a king, or a euro, will come in packages of two. So maybe you don't want to buy another package for three. So I'm here to tell you that you can get away with two euro shams on a king size bed and it doesn't look like you chinsed your pillows at all. But what so size have- euro uh, covers do you have? The they're covers, usually 28 by 28. Here's the thing. Well, no, that's they're what that- I'm saying. Some are 24, some are 26, some are 28. Okay, here's the thing. Mine are with, I think you would call it that, um, like knife. You're better known uh-huh. as yes. than knife I am, edge. the knife edge. So mm-hmm, th- I have mm-hmm. the extra edge. So it gives it like another t- two or three inches. Oh, right, right. So they're measuring the pillow from where the seam is. And so that is 26, but then there's the edges. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, it flanges out. So I have those two. Then I have one square 22 inch pillow that's kind of like this nubby gray. So that's pretty. And, and where do you put that? That's centered on the two Euro shams. Gotcha. Okay. okay. And then in front, right in front of that pillow, I have a, a nice puffy lumbar, the one I'm saying I got from anthropology. Then on either side, now this is a little recessed. I have two. Ooh, I'm loving this. I have two mm-hmm. more lumbar pillows that have this beautiful design on them. And these are from Bellinote. So I really have three oh, lumbars, lumbars, two uh, Euro, you have a king oversized bed. Euro shams, mm-hmm. and a 22-inch pillow in the middle. It looks mm-hmm. really nice, I have mm-hmm. to say. Well, do you use like seasonal throw pillows? I don't really do see. I'm not like a big seasonal person as far as the pillows and things like that. You know, I may, mm-hmm. I have a, a furry... Um, blanket, you know, one of those fur faux blankets like we were talking about from uh, Soft Surroundings. And actually, Mm -hmm. I might want to upgrade to one of theirs. And Mm -hmm. I'll (laughs) toss that at the end of the bed or something like that towards the winter. But, you know, it's it's now... well, we're recording this on what? Uh, October 24th. And it's 100 degrees here today. So, you oh, know, yeah, I'm, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah. you know, I'm I'm looking at these fur things and I really want to put them around, but I'm just not ready yet. So hopefully we'll get to that. I haven't put that out yet, but I don't do real seasonal stuff on my beds because we don't really have to for warmth, we don't have to necessarily, and um, I don't. Well, I don't and really it's like hard to, change the to fake that, that winter look and put faux fur on your bed when it's a hundred degrees. Mm, yeah. That just makes you even. Yeah. It's too hot. Right. Here's something that I like to do with my either the Euro shams or the regular shams. I usually have a duvet at the bottom of my bed. Yeah. And I like to match, and I'm not real matchy-matchy, but here I like to match either the Euros or the ones in front that mm-hmm. are usually yeah, I like the to regular shams with my duvet that's rolled up at the bottom of my bed because all of my beds have white Madelaise coverlets on them. Nice. That's sounds and beautiful. then have something at the bottom. I just so do love you have that. so have you ever done the the bold color on your bed skirt with the white matelasse cover? Um, no, I you know I either use. I mean that's no, a pretty look too. Ah, uh, I I imagine, but I'm so into that soft surround their mm-hmm. their silk. Um, oh, it's almost yes. like a woven. Silk. Yes, I've seen uh, yours. They're beautiful. Oh, I love those bed skirts. I just, I mean, that's all I use. And very neutral goes with anything. So. I, there's a couple colors, and I have. I think there might be three colors. Don't quote me on that, but I know I have two right. of the colors they have. And one sort of a more cream and the other one's a little more natural color. But I love that look as well. Okay, here's some, um, here's I, some details on sizes just in case um, anybody's oh, okay, wondering good. about the sizes. So a standard pillow is 26 inches long by 20 inches high or wide. Mm-hmm. And then a king is 36 long by 20. So Anita's fa- fabulous tip, which I never would have dawned on me, you're like, oh, I have this size bed, so I get this size pillow. Well, you know what? You don't, there are no rules, you know, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, you can, mm-hmm. you could break the rules and you can follow Anita's great advice. I would definitely do that now. That makes so much more sense. It would look so much more inviting to have a well, king size edge, edge on to your bed. Get, yeah. Then you'd have to get a king size sham because you don't want to get a standard um, decorative oh, sham yeah. and put that on top of your right, pillow, right. Of so your bed you, pillow. If you're going king, mm-hmm. you want to match your way. 
your bed yeah. pillows with your so with you your may not be shams. able to find sham. So sometimes you can't get the shams in the king mm-hmm. size if the if the quilt you're using is queen. So a lot of times the king I go with, I just put white linen. Yeah, um, mm. you know pillowcases on those, and then use the sham, and then put that in front of the colored shams that are, you know, match the duvet. Right. And we're saying sham, 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 which, you know, everybody probably who's listening to this would know what that is, you know, but that's sort of, it's, it's decorative. People can use them for sleeping. I mean, sometimes I catch my daughters sleeping on the shams and I pull them <laughs> out right from under their little heads. I would de- teach them right. Teach That's them right. right. No, Ava was actually napping in my bed over the weekend and, um, God bless people who can nap. I am just not a napper. And there she is napping really? away oh. and she's <laughs> oh, sleeping. This, like I'm taking a, my, on my nap. Yeah. Oh my God. I can't nap mm. Pil- on one of the, the gorgeous pillow shams. I was like, oh, honey, <laughs> let me just, ha- let me give you a more comfortable pillow. This oh, and that's a what mark you, on your that face. That is how to count. It. Oh, that you're such how. a mom. See, that's such a smart way to say it. It's not, what are you doing on my fancy pillow? It's, oh, yeah. No, I learned. Let me get you a more comfortable exactly. one. Exactly. It's all just, mm-hmm. you know, t- just twisted to the positive. And everyone's like, you're doing me a favor. You're so fabulous. Can you get well, me let's... water too while you're <laughs> at it? But another let's... thing we should talk about is, you know, we talk about, uh, and we have talked about, uh, the uh, inserts are, and what is inside our sleeping pillows at, as it being so important for a good night's sleep. Mm-hmm. But you mm-hmm. really have to think about what's inside your decorative pillows too, because you don't want, you want them to look good. And to look good, they have to have a good insert. It's very important. You know, as we said before, size the insert two inches bigger than what you're trying to fill. But also, I think that feathers and down are hands down better than any poly or cotton fiber. Fit. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I so too. agree with that. And they'll last a, a long time. If you get good inserts, they will last years and years and years. Yes, they really will. And then you, and you can even wash them. Yeah, I haven't tried that, but can you? Yes, I well, I've I've, I've washed mine and then very um uh, uh um um, delicate, cycle. delicate cycle. And then you want to put, I've got these um, wool balls oh, so it bounces that I around. put in my dryer because you want to bounce them around your dryer because you want to fluff, make sure they're dry because they will smell so bad oh. if you do not. Mm-hmm. Like a wet duck. Yeah, like, like a wet, like a dead wet duck. <laughs> Oh my. But you need to, and you need to either put tennis balls or get those wool dryer balls. And oh, I have okay. a um, good tip. Uh, yeah, I have a post about how to make them. Of course, and you do. dry them till they are <laughs> totally, 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 totally dry. Okay. Oh, the good, good tip. That's a good one. I'm going to try that because I used to just be like, okay, well, this has been around for this long. Maybe it's time just get a new one. But yeah, if you can wash them, that's no, good. You, I I wash mine. I mean, I don't do it often, right. but I do I do wash them on a and on does a that very help fluff them, cycle. refluff them when you wash oh, them? Oh my, yes, yes, yes. Mm, but maybe I need honestly, to do that. You have to make sure they're dry, or you'll have a very smelly pillow. Okay, oh, that's smelly pillows are bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the downside. Well, okay. and you can't like hang them up. You have to do it in a dryer, and they have to have like a um a tennis ball or those dryer balls in it that sort of. Uh, hit the pillow so you know it fluffs them up. Yeah, because it has and to that separate the feathers mm-hmm. in, inside. The feathers mm-hmm. have to can't it just does. be matted down. Okay, well that's oh. I, I want to tell you I like to put seasonal pillows on my bed. Mm. Well, of you course, know. because you are decorating for the seasons in the bedrooms. Mm-hmm. I do. Well, you know, I do, um, and. Most of my bedroom, other than like maybe flowers or a little Christmas tree or sometimes a big Christmas tree, stays the same, but you can really change the look of your bedroom by using uh, seasonal um, pillows. Well, or maybe you have different bedspreads and you go with a different, uh, mm-hmm. you have your summer bedspread and your mm-hmm. winter bedspread. I mean, you can always And here's that. a really good idea. And I can't, this, I just came across this idea accidentally. Um, you know, remember I was buying all those blue and white duvets that weren't 
the right ones mm-hmm. and making turning them into pillows. Mm-hmm. Because if if uh, you also if you find some uh, there's a lot of material in a duvet cover, and sometimes it's cheaper than ma- really great um, designer fabric that you would true, make true. to use for a pillow. Uh, but I was just making a mistake all the time. Well, <laughs> I. <laughs> started using my duvet, duvet covers for spring and summer without the duvet in them as a bedspread. Oh, great and idea. And they're perfect. They look so pretty. And I'll put that on in the show notes. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Now, okay, this is off pillows, but when do you think every, Mm -hmm. did it, maybe not everyone's done it, but there's the comforter and then there's the duvet. And somehow the duvet has, in my mind, in our little world here, <laughs> eclipsed mm-hmm. the comforter. What do you mean? Well, oh, definitely. Yeah, there's more. I mean, people talk about duvets much more than they talk about, I got I got have a comforter. Well, they're, I think they're more oh. on trend right now. Mm-hmm. And why do you think that is? Because they, you can change them out and you can have a nice insert inside? I, or do you think it's just I think it just, Euro, I think it sounds I think it's cooler. Trend. It just yeah. sounds cooler, right? I, no one wants yeah, to say they have a comforter. It, they have to have a duvet. Yeah, you have a duvet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, but now I prefer them because, but here as bloggers, you know, we change things out all the time. So I prefer duvets for one thing because I really, really like my down filled everything. And yeah. if you buy a comforter, it's never got down in it. Yes, that's true. Secondly, if you have two or three comforters, that's a lot to put in your closet. Whereas if you have one duvet and three covers, a lot less room required. Good. And Good. you can yeah. put a duvet in one of those space bags <laughs> and it sucks all the air out of it. Well, you could do that with a comforter mm-hmm. too, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, you could, but I just like putting that one in there and you could just have all different covers for it. Just so, uh, Just something quick. And this is this is not on pillows. It's on a duvet. There's a designer secret that um, 
that de- designers and, and people, when they take pictures, and Lean I've in. actually done Listen this. Listen in, everyone. They Design put two duvet, duvets in one duvet cover. Well, I yeah, I do that. And it's so full and beautiful and luxurious, especially if you're not going to use it. I made the mistake of using it. That is really heavy. Well, I had two down. in a bed, and I learned that from working in a furniture store. We always did two duvets mm-hmm. in the covers. It's so beautiful. It looks beautiful, but the problem is my bed is already tall. It's really taller than it's supposed to be. And then when I put that on there, it looks like Princess in the Pea. So I had to take one of you them You have out. to take Plus, like a running start mm-hmm. to get in. Yes, basically I needed, yeah. You exactly. need the steps. A springboard. Steps. A springboard. Mm-hmm. No, that would be much more fun, the springboard. So. What, are those, what are those little trampolines? Yeah. Those little you can do like, personal side. Tonight, Kevin, exercise. I'm going to be doing a devil <laughs> Heimlich maneuver. <to> go- <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for someone that's choking. Oh, a right. Triple, you know, triple somersault. Like, get it up. What's it called? What is that called? You're still on the car ball. Oh, ball. yeah. <laughs> Did you just call call it a Heimlich? (laughs) (laughs) You know, one of those gymnastic moves. Heimlich is, yeah, somebody who's choking. (laughs) And she said, and she called a carabiner a carbuncle in case you missed that episode. (laughs) That was hilarious. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Oh, no you wine gonna do a du- You're going to do a half twist with the double pike into the bed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wow. there you go. There you go. Hey, Nadia, come in each. Take it easy. <laughs> well, that's diving. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, you can dive fifth. right into that pretty duvet. Oh, oh. Bump it but, up. you know, we're talking about pillows. And the, here's, here's the deal. Pillows are to beautify your bed. And pillows are not to be put all over your floor and stepped on. So if <laughs> you, you only... <laughs> Is this a you principle only, that I can hang somewhere in my home? <laughs> <laughs> you only put as many pillows on your bed as you're willing to take off and on every day. True. And put somewhere that they're not going to get stepped on. And I, I just think that, you know, I tend to like a lot of pillows and I don't mind taking them off. And, you know, I've, you know, Bobby's actually pretty good about that and putting them over, um, to where they're not going to be stepped on. But you have to decide what, what, you can tolerate on your bed because some people don't like very many, um, you know, extras on their bed. You've got to decide what is your limit, what looks best for you. But there are certain configurations that look naturally very beautiful. Just like we're saying, like putting your euros in back, your um, like a bed pillow sham in front um, with some decorative larger pillows and then a bolster or a lumbar in front of that. There are certain configurations that just look very pleasing and very classic to the eye. And it's a very personal thing that you have to decide how many you can tolerate, if any at all. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, I think that's an excellent what points. configuration works best for your bed. You- and it also depends on, do you have a headboard? Yeah. What's it made out of? How high is it? We right now, we have a, oh, we just got a beautiful upholstered headboard that has like some nub to it. And it really looks nice with those Euro shams standing up. The bed we had before um, wasn't that high. So really the the bed the the um headboard got lost with those euro shams being up on end so that really didn't work for that bed. I think that's a good point kind of mm-hmm. take into account your how tolerant you are of removing all those pillows every night and keep in mind the height of your headboard the size of mm-hmm. your bed the height all those things are so important to keep in mind and I think and how have- far down your bed your pillow mm-hmm. arrangement creeps. <laughs> Yes. Because it does look, and I can even say this, at some point it looks a little absurd. But the good news is there is not a shortage of pillows right now. So that's the important thing to keep in mind. They're not being rationed. Yes, they're not being rationed and you will be You just go crazy with your pillows if you want. Yes. That's right. That's enjoy. Right. Enjoy. And, I do. Uh, I enjoy it when I make, and I do try to make my bed every day again. I listen to Yvonne. You. And, you know, I didn't always make my bed every single day. Some days the day just got away from me and then it was three o'clock in the afternoon. You're like, eh, why bother? Mm-hmm. But when yeah. I, now I'm really making my bed every day and I'm enjoying it and I take the time to do it and it makes me happy to put my pillows on as silly as I that know. might sound. 
Which I know. Well, well you're that a true note. pillow lover. So, so well, go make you your said, bed. Yeah, but go make Yvonne your bed. Said, we haven't made bed. it yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go make your bed. Because Yvonne said the thing about making your bed. It's like you've already done one thing well in Made the day. Your task in the morning. Right. That's right. And you can pat mm-hmm. yourself on the back. So, okay. So your mom's mom's telling you, go, go make your bed. And go remember, bed. we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody. We want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.